Welcome back to the channel. My name is Benji. Today I want to share with you guys something very special. I got a boat, as you can see, and I'm so excited. As you guys have already seen, I've been on the Scout Inflatable a couple of times with my friend Graham, and Scout was very, very generous and nice enough to give me one of their boats. It's the Scout 365, and it's the 12-foot edition. They also have the Scout 430, which is 14 feet, but I think this 12-foot's gonna suit me just fine. And I've been spending the past couple weeks really getting all my stuff together, accessorizing, preparing. I know very little about boats, so I'm looking forward to inviting you into my journey as I learn, make some mistakes, hopefully not any really bad ones, and I want to take the time to just show you um, this investment. So with Scout being nice enough to give me a boat, um, I decided to splurge and really accessorize the way that I would really want to. So I went ahead and got a brand new motor. It's a Tohatsu 3.5 horsepower, four stroke engine, and I got it brand new. And uh, the reason why I did that instead of looking for use is because I know nothing about motors. And so I just wanted to start from scratch and learn how to take care of it. And if I do make mistakes or something goes wrong, I can know that it was something that I did and can avoid in the future. And I just really want to learn from the ground up. But I'm super stoked because I'm getting ready to go on my maiden voyage uh, tomorrow morning out of Long Beach with my friend Graham. He's going to be taking me out and make sure I don't drown. And a lot of friends have asked me about the safety of an inflatable boat on open water, um, in the bays, let alone open ocean and lakes. And to be honest with you, I had those exact same concerns before I actually had the chance to be in a Scout inflatable. Uh, man, these, these inflatable boats are super sturdy. And it is an extremely durable PVC. And... Um, I think I had to see and experience it to kind of understand and feel safe in it because otherwise um, I just kind of looked at it as something made out of a beach ball or something. But this thing is super durable. It's designed to be able to hit rocks and structure and do just fine. And I, so I feel actually very, very confident and comfortable taking this thing out into wherever I really want to go. I'm going to be spending the rest of this year really getting acclimated to this thing, getting comfortable, familiarizing myself with how to be safe in it and just confident in how I maneuver within it. And, and then my ultimate goal is to be able to take this out into open ocean. And I've made it a bucket list goal of mine this year is to somehow get a yellow tail while on the Scout inflatable in open ocean. But I think one of the coolest features of the Scout boat is one of their accessories, which is the stabilizer bar. And the stabilizer bar is really, really cool because it allows you to comfortably and confidently stand up and fish while standing on the, on the Scout. Um, you can lean back on it and it just offers tremendous back support. But along with the stabilizer bar, some of the accessories that I got um, to kind of soup this thing up is I, I splurged a little bit and got a Lowrance Hook 7 um, fish finder. I've always been intrigued with electronics, fishing electronics. I've never used one or know how to use one. So I really look forward to getting this thing up and running. I haven't installed a transducer yet, but I'll be doing that shortly. Um, in addition, I ordered a bunch of accessories from my friend Jim Bixby, who's also a Scout owner, and he 3D prints a lot of really cool and innovative designs. So I ordered some uh, rod holders from him, a handful that I, I've attached on the stabilizer bar. He also makes um, horizontal rod holders and so i've attached a couple of them and um so i'm going to be ordering more because um i you can fit up to three here if you really want and i'm also going to be getting some ore extenders to drop the oars down and so you can comfortably fit three rods so you can actually technically do three rods and three rods on each pontoon um, I also ordered a GoPro mount um, from Jim that he made me, and I think I'm super stoked about that. Over the past couple weeks, I kind of experimented with setting up, um, blowing it up, and deflating it, and just, just getting myself used to the whole process of packing this up and putting it away. You know, the Scout was probably one of the only options for a boat that I could have. My garage is super limited space. Um, part of the reason is because I'm so messy. But yeah, this thing really does pack up into a bag and it's literally 50 pounds in a bag. So I can just throw this into the trunk of my minivan um, along with my motor and I'm good to go, man. With garage space being really limited for me, that was super important. And so being able to keep this thing deflated and in a bag in my garage when I'm not using it was really, really huge for me. And so I'm super, super stoked. Right now, when this thing is packed up in the bag, it's just sitting in one little corner that I made in the garage. And my wife doesn't even notice that it's there. Um, inflating this thing is an absolute breeze. Um, it comes with the manual foot pedal, which actually inflates it really, really well, really quickly. Um, doesn't take a long time at all. I actually got an electronic one that will do it for me. And when I do that, it's like I blink and, and these pontoons are filled up. 
So man, I am so, so excited. And so I just wanted to make this video for you guys to share with you, to share the stoke. And uh, thank you so much to Scout. Thank you to Graham, um, just for your help and all your time and just your friendship. Don't worry, surf fishing is still a huge part of what I'm doing. I'm also even looking forward to still doing some trout fishing. Um, if you guys are actually interested in something like this, you guys have been thinking about a kayak or an inflatable or something like this that would fit your needs, um, hit up Graham, dude. Graham is such an awesome, awesome person. So I'll leave his contact information in the video below. Hit him up. He might be able to take you out on the water for a demo ride. But again, um, I'm not sponsored by Scout. I didn't receive any monetary compensation for this. Um, this is just something really nice that they did for me. And uh, in return, I'm just looking forward to fishing on this thing, getting out there, sharing the stoke and just sharing what I love. But I got a lot to do. I got to break this stuff down, put it in my car because we're going out tomorrow morning for the fishing trip. And that'll be the next video. So thank you guys so much. Let's go fishing.